friends, it's Susan Smith with Stamp Creatively, and I am in my corner where I um, video. Normally, I don't show my face, but look, my hair's done. I have makeup on. I have jewelry on. We have somewhere we have to go, and I got ready early so I could do video and show my face because that's not my jam. So now that we've said good morning because it's still morning here in Indiana, I am going to show you some fun things with the turtles. We love the turtles. And I'm going to use some of the memory and more. So I have two projects to show you with one designer series paper and one memories and more cards. So I'm going to flip my camera and we'll get started. The flipping of the camera is not my favorite. So um, you all are patient with me. See, look, I'm upside down because you want to see my projects this way. Okay, so now you can see my catalog and kind of what, a little bit of what we're gonna use. So I'm gonna use these Memories and More um, cards and envelopes. They're white. I needed to send um, a note to my grandkids last week so I used the small one for them, and then I'm gonna use the larger one to send to someone else. So let me show you what I did. So I used these note cards and envelopes. I used my favorite designer series paper pack, which is the Hostess one. It's got so much. It's black and white on one side with a pattern, and then it used all of these colors on the other side. So that was my inspiration and the turtles. The turtle bundle comes with the turtle set and a turtle punch. So I wanna show you what I did with the turtle punch. See, this is my leftovers. I got six out of a sheet by f of the four by 12. I folded it in half. I stuck my turtle punch in here to the fold. And punch my turtle. So with what I sent my grandkids, come on. All right, we're not going to come out easy. We're going to be difficult this morning. Let's, come on, friend. Okay, so now I have this cute little note. So I stamped the turtle on top. It was an easy stamp. I'm gonna scooch this all up here so you can see it. I, li I opened it and lined him up. There's my note to my grandkids. They little had a little stand-up turtle with a note from Gamey. It included a coupon to go get ice cream with me. Okay, so let me show you the two cards I did. I did this one. This is the one that everybody got in their um, goodie box along with the turtle stand-up with their coupon. And then this is the bigger card. Okay, let's do it. So I took the Memories and More, the little ones, and these are too small to mail, so don't try to mail them to a friend. They're good. Like I said, my grandkids think a bigger, um, it had a package of Hello Summer stuff. So that's what the point of the, of the goodie box was. Here's my bone folder which with my fabulous charm from the Wonder Basement. We love her. So, um, because I needed it to be a little, um, I was adding some other things, this was perfect. So I put my seal down. This is my designer series paper. If you can see, see the pattern I added to it, it doesn't really show up on this side. But I decided to run this one through the big shot and I added my new favorite die, which is, it's the leaves. It's called um, Stitched Greenery. And what I love about it is when I run it through, I have nothing to punch out. 
Friends, there's no punching involved. Well, I mean, I may punch someone, but I don't have to punch this. So I'm gonna lay this right on top. I'm not normally a violent person, but I can be, if I need to be. <laughs> Kitty. So um, I used balmy glue, soft sea foam, poppy. I lost my love. See, I lost a little love this morning. I lost my heart. And then I used grainy apple, which I isn't here because I've used it since. So let me sneak around to my corner and grab my granny apple. Oh, never mind. It's in my other container. I did use it again. I used it on this card. <laughs> I'm going to open these and we're going to create the little bottom part. I took a strip of our Whisper White and this fits the note card. So it's four and a quarter and then I made it like one and a quarter. scooch this up you know because I moved my camera so I could show you that I got dressed today and since I moved the camera I um, it moved my stamping spot so I'm gonna put my little turtle now I've got one that faces that way and again this is in the granny apple I've got another turtle that faces this way my words fit right in the middle. You are turtly loved. My grandkids in St. Louis, I have three in St. Louis and I have, I'm sorry, I have four in St. Louis. That's not right. I have Izzy. My turtle or my um, bird lost his head a little bit. That turtle should have been a little bit lower. They keep finding turtles in their yard. So I sent them, that's kind of why this started with the turtles. I added a little grass with the soft sea foam. I'm gonna put the inside in there. Now that um, turtle has his middle, I took my sea foam Stampin' Right marker just to make his toenails a little darker. And then I added a little love, because, I mean, you got to add a little love, right? It's going to the grandkids. So I added a little love. Then I took my, for my granddaughter, I didn't do this for the boys, but for my granddaughter, she got a little extra love because she loves the Wink of Stella. She comes and sits in my office, and that's like her favorite thing to do. In my studio, Miss Ruby, Miss Ruby, she likes the Wink of Stella. Willow likes it too. Then I took my seal. I'm going to add my balmy blue across the bottom. Then put my turtles on. They're so cute. And then, you know, I love these. These are the art artistry blooms, adhesive back sequins. And they all love a little bling, so we're going to put some of these sequins on here, because we can. There we go. Cute as it can be. Super simple. So that's what went to the, the little kids. I'm going to close these up and move it out of the way, and we're going to do the other one. Oh, I try to keep my videos, like, super short. This one's going to be just a little bit longer because we have a little bit more to do. Okay, so here's my turtle. Let me show you how I did it. So one of my um, friends who comes to my camps said, I love these dyes. They're encircled in beauty. I'm like, I didn't notice them. She goes, it goes with the flower set. I'm not getting the flowers, but I'm going to get these dyes. And I said, why? And she goes, well, I can't wait to do them in vellum. So I haven't done the shimmer vellum in them, but Jen, I'm going to. But I used them on my turtles. So I've run this through um, the big boss. 
and it does have a little bit of things I've got to get out, so I'm going to use my handy dandy tool to get all these little pieces out. Come on, friend. And there it is in the granny apple. Okay, so it's ready to go. So on my card, so this is the large cards. Again, I'm going to crease it really well. And then I took the checks and dots embossing folder and ran it through to put a little checks on the top. So let's seal this down. And I cut it just a quarter of an inch all the way around smaller because I wanted to put it on. Um, this is another piece of that same designer series paper. Fabulous black and white on the back and beautiful colors on the other side. Gonna lay that right there. And then you know how we um, get these little scraps when we cut off our um, paper. Like if we wanna make it four and five and a quarter, we end up with these little half an inch strips. So this is one of those little half an inch strips that is perfect for my words. Happy belated birthday, sorry I was slow. I mean, I never miss a birthday, right? So there we go, that fit on there perfectly. I am going to seal that down. Right there. Oh, I cut it a little short, dang nabbit. We will, I know. So when I cut it a little short, I mean, it never happens, right? I do that and make it look like it was supposed to be that way. And then when I decorate it, I'll add a gem there and everyone will think I meant to do it. Okay, so um, now I'm gonna seal this guy down. Right there. Now we're just waiting for the turtle. So let me show you my turtle friend. I'm gonna stamp him in Memento. And then there is this one. It's time to celebrate which I made as a little stand-up too. Because, I mean, if you're a demonstrator, we're getting close to another celebration. So that's another little stand-up guy. Okay. I thought that would be funny to um, send to my team. Because it's almost time. So I'm going to punch him out. I took um, the light soft sea foam in a blend and went over his body because he was just too stark white. Then I took my Stampin' Right granny apple and did his toenails. I mean, it could be a, a her because she went and got her toenails done. Oh, I want to go over the whole body. Because again, it was just a little too stark for me. I'm going to go back over to my granny apple. Make his body green. And then, so it's super cute just like this. But um, I wanted to make it a party. So I did a party hat. And when I cut the party hat out, oh, I'll show you. I did the lens on him, or I mean, I did the Stampin' Right markers on him. I used the Granny Apple. I used Daffodil. And then I used um, this one is Flirty Flamingo. Can you? This is my youngest son calling me. 
And today's his birthday. So one moment, you can hear a quick conversation with my youngest son. See, there he is. Hi, honey. I'm doing a live video. Can I call you back in just a minute? Or do you want me to sing to you on a live video? Uh, you go ahead and do your live video. Good <laughs> but, luck. Thanks. Happy birthday to you. I'll call you back. Okay, right. bye. We weren't able to um, be with him today, so it's National Donut Day. So we did a video this morning that we sent to him bright and early because we call our kids on their birthday and sing um, with donuts. So we had donuts this morning and sang to him um, because he's 31. My baby's 31. Friends, that makes me old. Okay. Well, we'll say that, but not really. All right, so now I'm going to take um, a glue dot and stick my hat on. And you should be thankful he didn't make me sing. He could have, but it would have been bad for all of us. Okay, so let me add my beautiful adhesive back sequins again. And I, they match this paper so good, so I can use any color I want. I'm sending my friend a late birthday. They should get a little bling. Okay, friends, there you go. Two turtles. Let me clean up my mess so you can see this a little better. Two big turtles. Two little turtles. Cards. And two adorable little tent turtles. All right, friends, have a great day. Thanks for joining me. I will stamp with you again soon. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Instagram or on, um, oh yeah, you can do that on Instagram, but on YouTube, um, if you follow me, then you'll get notification when I'm doing this again. Have a good one. Bye.